Hi, today we're going to look at all discuss on biostatistics uh, with the course code of SBS3013 for students in University Pendidikan Sultan Idris. Uh, today we will be looking at chapter 3 which is on the uh, title of descriptive statistics. But before that, we try to look at what is the uh, main focus of this chapter. The main focus of this chapter is on the measures of central tendency and measures of diversion. Uh, what is meant by uh, measures of central tendency is basically on the measures of mode, median, and mean. In this chapter, we will look at the conventional way of calculating mode, median, and mean as well as how we will calculate it using a uh, computer software which is the SVSS. Before we look at uh, before we do that okay, we try to look at the definition of descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics uh, is defined as numerical measures that describe a distribution by providing information on the central tendency of distribution, the y of distribution and the distribution shape. Uh, there are basically three measures of central tendency, okay, as what I have mentioned to you just now. Uh, they are mean, median, and mode. How do we try to look at uh, the first uh, measure, which is the mean? How do we actually calculate the mean? Mathematically, mean is calculated through this formula. And as what you can see in this uh, slide, the mean is represented by a symbol. This symbol, we pronounce it as mu, which represents uh, the population mean. Okay, And mean is basically calculated as uh, the sum of, calculated by the sum of uh, over uh, the number of scores in the distribution. Okay, now let us try to look at how uh, we, we try to look at one example how to calculate the mean. You can pause the video for a while, uh, while to calculate the mean using this formula. After you have uh, correctly get the value of the mean, uh, we you can continue. Okay, now let us look at what is uh, meant by median. Okay, the median is the middle scores in a distribution after the scores have been arranged from highest to lowest or lowest to highest. To determine the median, we simply have to find uh, the, media, the middle scores. Uh, and now let us look at what is uh, meant by mode. Mode basically is uh, the score in a distribution that occurs with the greatest frequency. Okay, now let us look at uh, two examples. The first example, table 1 shows the frequency distribution of exam scores for 30 students. Using conventional way, try to calculate the value of mean, median, and mode for the distribution of exam scores. You can pause the video while you are doing the calculation and continue watching the video after you have uh, obtained the value. Okay, now let us try to look at another table which is uh, table 2. Table 2 shows the yearly salaries for 25 employees in a certain company. Uh, using the conventional way, you try to calculate the mean, median and mode for the distribution of salary for these 25 employees. Similarly, you can pause the video for a while while you are doing the calculation and continue watching the video after you have obtained the value. Apart from using conventional way uh, to calculate the value of mean, median, and mode, uh, you, can add, you can also use uh, computer software which is the SPSS uh, to get the value of mean, median and mode. We try to use the example of uh, exam scores that is shown in table 1 uh, to calculate the mean, 
Median and Mode using SPSS software. Before you do that, uh, you need to open up the SPSS uh, software. After you have opened the SPSS software, uh, the first window that appeared uh, will look something like this. Okay, and this is called the data editor window. On the uh, bottom left side, okay, there is two tab. The first tab is the data view and the second is the variable view. Okay, now uh, put your cursor on the variable, variable view and click on it. Okay, this is what uh, will appear, this screen will appear when the variable view tab is being tapped, okay, or click. Okay, what you need to do ne next is you need to enter the name of the variable. Since uh, table 1 is regarding the scores, so I will name uh, the first row, I will name the first row as scores. Also, click on the second column. Uh, all the other information will automatically here. Okay, after you have done that, uh, click on the data view. Okay, and this window editor page will reappear back. Now, please uh, key in all the information that is shown in table 1 in this uh, column of scores. After you have finished uh, keying all the data in the data view, now we will carry out the descriptive analysis using SPSS software. To do that, please go to the menu bar and choose Analyze. And then uh, tap on or choose descriptive statistics and then frequencies. Click on frequencies and eventually the dialog box frequencies will appear. In the dialog box of frequency, highlight scores and transfer it into the variable box. On the top right hand side, uh, click on the tab statistics and the frequency statistics dialog box should appear. Uh, under the central tendency, mean, median, and mode. And finally, click continue. On the second right hand side, there is a chart tab. Click on it and the dialog box frequency chart should appear. Choose or click histogram and then tick show normal curve on histogram and Click OK. After you have clicked OK, the pivot table editor and the pivot table editor menu will appear, and these two tables will replace the viewer menu. Your results of mean, median, and mode calculation is shown in the pivot table editor. Okay, now move. Let us move on to table 2 on the yearly salaries for 25 employees. Okay, now try to uh, try to repeat the steps that is uh, described earlier uh, and then try to determine the mean, median and mode uh, for table for data that is shown in table 2. After you have done that, Please answer the questions on the following slides. Please pause the video before any attempt to continue watching the, this video. Okay, now we try to look at another um, very common measure which is the standard deviation. Okay, what is standard deviation? Standard deviation is uh, defined as the average distance of all scores in the distribution of mean or central point of the distribution. Uh, mathematically, standard deviation is calculated uh, 
by using this formula. The, the standard deviation uh, in this formula is replaced with a mathematical symbol. Okay. Uh, and this symbol is pronounced as sigma. Okay, now, now we try to calculate uh, the standard deviation uh, by using the data that is displayed in table 1 uh, shown earlier. There are two ways or two methods of uh, calculating standard deviation. The first could, uh, standard, deviation, standard deviation could be calculated uh, through manually or could be calculated uh, using SVSS software. Manual calculation is shown uh, in table 3 uh, where you need to get the value of the numerator as well as the denominator. After you have uh, gotten the value of numerator as well as denominator, we try to equate all the value that you have uh, calculated in this equation. After that, uh, solve the mathematical Solve the mathematical equation and eventually you will derive with the value of standard deviation. You can also uh, calculate the value of standard deviation by using SPSS software. In order to do that, you need to follow the initial steps that is described in the uh, descriptive analysis slide as shown here. Okay, go to uh, the menu bar and select Analyze, then descriptive statistics, and finally uh, frequency. The dialog box frequency statistic should appear eventually. Under diversion, you click or tick on the box of standard deviation, and if you are interested to get the value of standard error mean, you, you can also tick on the box okay, and then click continue. After you have clicked continue, uh, this dialog, this uh, pivot table editor uh, should appear. Uh, the standard deviation value is placed under the uh, same table uh, as under mean, median, and mode. The standard deviation value that is calculated manually or using SPSS software uh, will generally give you similar value which is uh, will be 13.94 okay now what does the value of standard deviation means uh, the value of standard deviation uh, show of exam score is 13.94 as uh, we calculated from the data uh, that is displayed in table one uh, this value means that the average is average difference between the scores and the mean or central point is 13.94. The standard deviation value is usually presented together with the mean. There are two ways of uh, presenting the uh, standard deviation and mean value. Uh, the first is as what is shown here or it could be presented as what is being shown here. Uh, in general, small standard deviation indicates that the points are close to the mean, and uh, while large standard deviation indicates that the data points are distance from the mean. Okay, now we try to look at uh, something about exploratory data analysis or uh, in short form EDA. Uh, EDA analysis is very important. Uh, it's very important to determine whether the data that you have collected is normally distributed or it is not normally distributed. For normally distributed data, parametric tests uh, will be conducted uh, for analysis and for non, if the data is non-normally distributed, uh, non-parametric tests uh, will be carried out on the data that is collected. 
parametric test will use the uh, actual data that you have collected. Uh, basically, uh, the data that you collected will be it will be in number. Uh, we call that this type of uh, data as ratio scale uh, data. Uh, ratio scale data is basically uh, referring to those data that produce number and there is an absolute zero. Okay. Uh, the zero here uh, indicates uh, an absence of variable that is being measured. Examples of a uh, ratio scale data are such as data that is collected uh, like such as a uh, weight, height, temperature, uh, enzyme activity, dose amount and so on. In any social science or uh, pure science research, if we are comparing two different groups or two different uh, variables, uh, the commonly used uh, test is a uh, t-test. Uh, in general, there are two different types of independent. Uh, there are two different types of t-test. The first is the independent t-test, and the second one is a uh, dependent t-test. Independent t-test is used uh, when the two groups or the two variables are independent are independent uh, from each other for example uh, first group could be for example the first group could be weight the second group could be height uh, while the second uh, t-test is dependent t-test this uh, t-test is used to compare two groups uh, where the groups are dependent or the variables are dependent uh, towards each other. For instance, for example, uh, feed, feeding frequency and the weight of chicken. Uh, the weight of chicken is uh, basically depending on the frequency of uh, uh, the feeding. Uh, in other words, if you feed the chicken more often, uh, the weight of the chicken will be uh, more. If your data is non-normally distributed, uh, the test that will be conducted uh, will be non-parametric test. Before, before non-parametric test is conducted, the data that is collected will be converted into rank. Uh, for instance, uh, the data that is having the highest value will be ranked as 1. Uh, those who are uh, average uh, or in the uh, value that is moderate will be ranked as 2 and those uh, value that is low will be ranked as 3 and in your experiment if your data is non-parametric and uh, your experiment has only two groups to be compared uh, the test that you will be using uh, is will be uh, man with me and Wilkerson uh, sign rank test a main meaning test is used uh, for to compare two variables and this uh, test is equivalent to independent t-test while we concern uh, sign rank test is equivalent to a dependent t-test looking at the parametric test again uh, for instance if your experiment is having more than two variables uh, the test that you'll be using will be ANOVA in general, there are two different types of ANOVA analysis. The first is the one-way ANOVA independent, uh, one-way independent ANOVA, or one independent, uh, which actually tests for one independent variable. And the second one will be a two-way independent ANOVA, uh, which has two independent variables of different subjects. Uh, if for this course, we will be only uh, discussing about one-way independent ANOVA, uh, which involves only one independent uh, variable. If your data is not normally distributed, uh, what you and your uh, test test variable is more than two, uh, the test that you should conduct uh, is Crystal Wallis one-way ANOVA. Okay, now how? Are we uh, going to conduct the EDA test? Okay, first, uh, you have to open your SPSS software and then please go to the menu bar, click Analyze, 
uh, select descriptive statistics and then choose explore uh, the dialog box that is shown here will uh, appear okay next highlight scores and transfer it into the dependent list after you have done that uh, click on blocks the explore that plots dialog box may, uh, will appear uh, in the uh, explore plots dialog box uh, please select normality plots with test press continue and ok there are two different types of normality test that will be displayed the first is a uh, comologro and the second will be a uh, chaparral wilk if the significant level for both Komologro and Chaparral field is more than 0.05, this uh, indicates that the data is normally distributed. You can double check the normally distributed data by looking at the stand and leaf plot as well as the uh, normal QQ plot. The stand and leaf plot uh, if it shows a normally distributed pattern, it means that the data that you have collected is normally distributed. As for normal QQ plot of scores, if the data or the dots that is displayed in the figure is distributed along the line, this indicates that the data is normally distributed. By looking at the box plot, you can actually uh, know or determine the value of or estimate the value of median as well as the maximum value as well as the minimum value. You can also know the 25th uh, percentile as well as the uh, 75th percentile. If there is any out layers, uh, it will be uh, shown in this box plot as a dot away from the major figure. But in this uh, case or in this figure, there isn't any outlayers identified. Okay, now your task is to conduct the uh, EDA test for data that is shown in table 2, which is the average salary of 25 employees. Using the analysis test result, conclude uh, that the data for table 2 is normally distributed or not or not uh, normally distributed. I think that's the end of uh, today's uh, lesson. Uh, if there is any question, uh, you could uh, we could actually discuss through WhatsApp, uh, email, or or through my group. Uh, I think that's all from me. Um, thank you very much and have a nice day.